a mother killed her two young children before hanging herself in the garage of their house. Well, today, hundreds of demonstrators gathered uh, outside one premises in Suffolk. Three protesters were arrested, with campaigners accusing police of heavy-handedness. The animal rights campaigners may have lost their battle to close Huntingdon Life Sciences, but they show no sign of scaling down their protests. This is the, reality of what the police were out in large numbers to contain a demonstration at the company's second laboratory in Suffolk. And they took a tough line. You torture 500 animals a day. Nothing gets out of this company alive. And you are going out of business. One man was arrested for using a megaphone. Officers said he was being abusive and took him away to a local police station. The protesters may have failed in their bid to have HLS closed down when an anonymous American backer stepped in at the last minute to save the company. But they say they are determined their campaign will go on. Activists have said they'll find out who the backer is and, in their words, teach them a lesson. I'm sure our colleagues in America will find out who they are, but the campaign will be stepped up against the section generally in this country. We're in this for the long haul, we're not going to go away. There have been allegations of intimidation against workers at the company, but the protesters say most of those involved are peaceful. We are entirely committed to peaceful campaigning, and the reason we're standing here in the freezing cold, all of us here, is because we want a more just, a more peaceful, a less violent world. That's why we're here. I think we've shown overall enormous restraint. But the company has supporters in high places. The government believes it plays a critical role in medical research and the development of new forms of treatment for diseases such as Alzheimer's and cancer. Ross Appleyard, Sky News, Suffolk. President George W. Bush has set an ambitious agenda to cut taxes and reform education. He declared his first... financial backer who saved the drug research firm Huntington Life Sciences. The company was on the verge of bankruptcy after its key investors were targeted by protesters opposed to experiments on animals. Start looking for the research company held talks job. late into the night in a bid to reach a deal before the deadline on a Royal Bank of Scotland loan. The government Anyone has welcomed the news that the company's future is now secure, here. for the moment at least. Huntington Life Sciences has played a critical role in medical research and the development of new forms of treatment for diseases such as AIDS, cancer, heart disease and Parkinson's. Work that involves experiments on animals, sparking a 15-month campaign by animal rights extremists. HLS insists they've got it all wrong. It's been very difficult for our staff. They've been intimidated as they arrive, uh, their vehicles attacked, their homes attacked, their vehicles set on fire in their driveway, you know, their lives put at risk. These are, you know, very serious uh, extremists that we're talking about. And society needs to understand that. Society needs to back medical research and the government needs to do it. Protesters are not convinced. News that the company has been bailed out by an anonymous backer has caused outrage. Campaigners have now vowed to continue and intensify their protests. These people are going to be highly embarrassed because Huntingdon have been exposed now four times in four years. And I'm actually quite glad that these people have come off the fence because now we can point to them when Huntingdon are exposed and say, those people wanted this place that kills 500 animals every single day. They, they wanted them open. The government... And go straight to the King Edward VII the hospital where Princess Margaret is leaving. Our royal correspondent James Forlong has been there and uh, is what... Manchester City. ...when a mystery financial backer from the United States stepped in. Activists say the battle is far from over. What we will do is we will track whoever it is in America and we will financially destroy them as we have slowly but surely financially destroyed hunting and life sciences. The crisis in the Philippines has ended with the swearing-in of new president Gloria Arroyo. Territories which had been on the brink of closure. Unnamed backers in America have agreed to refinance the company and pay off an outstanding loan to the Royal Bank of Scotland. Huntingdon Life Sciences believe intimidation from animal rights activists deterred British investors. The government says it won't allow protesters to close down the industry. We've had this very naked attempt to shut down this company 
uh, by intimidation and harassment. Uh, and I think there's a new resolve by the pharmaceutical companies, uh, other contract research organizations, and indeed the government, uh, to stop this th sort of thing happening. The Royal Bank of Scotland had been targeted by animal rights activists on the run-up to the repayment deadline. Employees and shareholders of Huntingdon Life Sciences also faced intimidation. A small but determined group of protesters gathered outside the company following today's announcement. They pledged to pursue the new investors. We'll be pursuing them um, with information at hand at the moment, which is probably leading us in their direction right at this moment and we'll be using the same, same campaign tactics that we've used all along against Huntingdon. The financial worries of Huntingdon Life Sciences may have gone away, but it's unlikely the protesters will too. The company says there are wider issues at stake, and only firm action from the government will save Britain's pharmaceutical industry. Lisa Holland, BBC News, Cambridgeshire. Princess Margaret has left hospital in London. She walked out of King Edward VII Hospital, helped by a nurse, but without using a walking stick. The palace says she's made good... ...can back up. Campaigners say, though, they're determined to close the company down. Several hundred demonstrated today outside one of its plants in Suffolk. Ben McCarthy reports. The news that a financial deal had been done to keep Huntingdon Life Sciences open didn't put off protesters who've been campaigning to get it closed. An anonymous American backer has provided millions of pounds to help write off the company's overdraft, but that's infuriated those who've campaigned against the firm's experiments on animals. Thanks to this weekend's deal, Huntingdon Life Sciences remain in business, but these demonstrators are determined it won't be for much longer. They say their protest will continue and they will close it down. This place, as I say, is morally bankrupt, it's scientifically bankrupt, and it's financially bankrupt. It's, it's been resuscitated, but that's a temporary stay of execution. We will never turn our backs on those animals. We will never walk away from them. And we will continue to campaign until HLS closes down. But those who support the research carried out by Huntington Life Sciences say its closure would have a devastating effect on the country's drugs industry. The pharmaceutical industry in Britain depends on toxicology testing of its products, particularly by Huntington. And I think that there is a possibility that there would be a gradual, perhaps even a rapid, hemorrhage of the pharmaceutical com companies out of this country. Three people were arrested during today's demonstration. The protesters say more action is planned and they intend to track down and target the anonymous American backer who's just saved Huntington Life Sciences from closure. Ben McCarthy, ITN, Suffolk. George W. Bush has begun his first full day in office as America's new president, promising to unite the nation after the bitter election battle. He took time off this morning to attend a church. Being targeted by activists. Three people were arrested during the demonstration at a laboratory in Suffolk. The animal rights campaigners may have lost their battle to close Huntingdon Life Sciences, but they show no sign of scaling down their protests. This is the reality of what is The police were out in large that. numbers to contain a demonstration at the company's second laboratory in Suffolk. And they took a tough line. You torture 500 animals a day. Nothing gets out of this company alive. And you are going out of business. One man was arrested for using a megaphone. Officers said he was being abusive and took him away to a local police station. The protesters may have failed in their bid to have HLS closed down when an anonymous American backer stepped in at the last minute to save the company. But they say they are determined their campaign will go on. Activists have said they'll find out who the backer is and in their words teach them a lesson. I'm sure our colleagues in America will find out who they are, but the campaign will be stepped up against the section generally in this country. We're in this for the long haul, we're not going to go away. There have been allegations of intimidation against workers at the company, but the protesters say most of those involved are peaceful. We are entirely committed to peaceful campaigning, and the reason we're standing here in the freezing cold, all of us here, is because we want a more just, a more peaceful, a less violent world. That's why we're here. I think we've shown overall enormous restraint. But the company has supporters in high places. The government believes it plays a critical role in medical research and the development of new forms of treatment for diseases such as Alzheimer's and cancer. Ross Appleyard, Sky News, Suffolk. 
Hundreds of people marched through London to protest against plans to house convicted paedophiles near their homes.